A cavity may appear below the gum tissue and is often only revealed with x-rays. It is not possible to restore this cavity since the gums prevent access. A solution for this problem starts with the raising of a flap. Different instruments including the dentist's drill are used to reduce the bone height and this new bone architecture is prepared to support the gums in a lower position on the root of the tooth. The new bone topography must follow all the previous peaks and valleys. The gums are then repositioned on the prepared bone, which now supports the gums below the cavity. The cavity can now be accessed. In this situation, a resin filling is used to restore the cavity. The cavity is accessible and removed, followed by the resin placement. The reason the procedure is called crown lengthening is because the crown tends to look longer after the procedure. In this situation we see an entire cusp break off the tooth. If the tooth breaks below the gums we cannot restore it as in this case. To save the tooth we can do several procedures. First we raise a gingival flap for access and then we reduce the bone level so that the bone is a certain minimum distance below the fracture. Different instruments including the dentist's drill are used to reduce the bone height and this new bone architecture is prepared to support the gums in a lower position on the root of the tooth. The flap is repositioned and sutured into place. After healing, the tooth can now be restored. In this situation, a light cured resin filling is used first to replace the lost cusp. This may be adequate in some situations, but the best way to restore a tooth with a large fracture is with a crown. The tooth is prepared and the crown cemented on top. Initially, there may be gum spaces missing between the teeth, but if the distance between the bone and the contact point is less than 5 millimeters, the tissue will eventually fill in these areas.